Salvation is not an event. It is a journey. A journey that starts when you believe in Jesus and you accept Him as your Lord and your Master. And from there onward, you obey Him. You turn away from sin and unrighteousness and you live to please Jesus. You are baptized in water for the washing off of your sin, and you seek Jesus with all your being. You seek His Spirit in you. You are spiritually united with Jesus. He gives of His Spirit to come and live in you, the Holy Spirit. He will baptize you in the Holy Spirit and with fire. That fire will cleanse you, will purify you. And then you have to continue with that journey, that spiritual unity with Jesus Christ, following Him every day of your life and doing what is pleasing to Him until the very end very end, your very last day. Very few people finish their journey. Most people are deceived. They think that if they have said a sinner's prayer and joined a church and they read the Bible, that they are saved. They're not. They're not even in the journey. If you are not following Jesus, and not being led by the Holy Spirit, then you are not on that journey. Jesus Christ Himself is the way and the truth and the life. If you are not following Him every day, you do not have life and you will not find the narrow door into the kingdom of heaven. They asked Jesus whether those who are being saved are few. And he said, strive hard, because straight is the gate, narrow is the way, and few there be that find it. Very few endure until the end. Very few follow Jesus day by day, every day. Jesus said, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, pick up his cross every day, and follow me. Are you on that journey? Are you following Jesus every day? Are you being saved? Or do you just believe that you have been saved, but you have no relationship with him? You need to follow Jesus every day of your life. Obey Him until the end. You have to go all the way in order to enter the kingdom of heaven. May Jesus bless you.